Now the super talented James Franco directs and stars in the true story behind the making of The Room, the so-called greatest bad movie ever made. You, man, you're fearless. I want to feel that too. I don't care. I'll do it. You and me, we both have this dream. Yeah, I guess we do. <laughs> and we'll be famous. We'll show them. Watch out, here we go. To be or not to be. It's not gonna happen for you. Not in a million years. But after that, it's town, Greg. They don't want me. Wish we could just make our own movie. A great idea. Can you explain how you first discovered the film and why it became such a cult hit? Yeah, it's been around for 14 and a half years. It premiered in 2003. It was supposed to be a drama. When it came out, nobody saw it and on the initial run. Tommy did keep it in theaters for two weeks to so qualify for Academy Awards. <laughs> uh, didn't get nominated for any. <laughs> so there's this guy, Johnny, a true American hero to be played by me. He has it all. Good luck, many friends. And also, maybe Johnny is vampire. We'll see. This set of the alleyway looks exactly like the real alleyway. That's right. Well, why don't we just shoot in the real alleyway? Because it's a real Hollywood movie. No, yeah, sounds good. Okay, action. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. But the foot doesn't work if you're looking at the camera. What? People were laughing at it, and it might have been very devastating to Tommy at first, but it gradually developed a following. USC students came to see it and told their friends about it, and then after six years, it, had, it was a real thing. And I remember Jonah Hill and Paul Rudd would go and see it. Then, you know, a lot of outlets did stories on it, and it spread, and now it plays in, you know, almost every major city in the, in the country. It plays in London and Paris, and it's just, great theatrical experience. It's almost the new Rocky Horror Picture Show, and, and people call back to the screen, and they throw spoons, and <laughs> all this weird stuff. Is, is everything all right? Yeah, everything great on my end. You heard of Konstantin Stanislavski? Of course, yeah, he's like the greatest acting teacher of all time. Yeah, and now he taught me acting teacher. He's seen something special in me, you know, maybe, you know, I'll become a big star. So I have first class this evening. Pretty sure Stanislavski's dead. No, he's not dead. I just speak to him for your information. What do you think I speak to, ghost? No. no. Okay, I'll let you know how it is, baby face. Maybe you can join me someday. Maybe I will. What's it like working together as brothers? Did you say yes straight away, Dave, to working yeah. on this project? On this one, yes. He had approached me in the past about uh, several other projects, but I was in more of a headspace of just one, wanting to do my own thing and carve my own path, and so it finally felt like the right time with this project, and we understood the dynamic be between these characters. It, it felt very natural to us, and it was one of the more enjoyable times I've had on set. And then this beautiful girl. Anything for my princess. She betrayed him. And then this guy, Johnny. He go crazy. Nobody respect my vision. You are a villain. I do this whole movie for you, Greg. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. Uh, uh, oh. God. Why are you cut, Sandy? This is great. This is real acting. If you're gonna ride around with the dress, maybe do it before you shoot yourself in the head and blow your brains out. I disagree. I thought if we do this right, you know, we can have a very unique story with a very unusual character at its center, but still tell a very universal story. The disaster artist is out in cinemas this week.